Welcome back guys, it's been a while but welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm gonna do a bit of a boss rush and this is a bit different to all my videos but I thought like there's just so much content in this game and I've been enjoying this game so I wanted to show you as much as I can. So um, I'm just gonna take a detour from the main storyline and just show you all the cool bosses that I encountered like this cool cat you guys are just seeing now and I'm trying to do something different and make the videos more interesting more engaging and everything like yeah but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this please like the video um comment down below and subscribe if you haven't done so so but anyway guys without further ado let's get into this video yeah this is the first boss as you can see the earth tree burial um watchdog and this is actually weird it doesn't look like a watchdog it actually looks like a cat so that was actually interesting for me um this boss has very stiff movements so it was kind of weird and creepy but like it was kind of cool yeah yeah that we defeat the first boss all right anyway on to the second boss these minor earth trees that you just see in front of me are really annoying and when you basically progress to the game and you get like to different areas you have to kind of defeat these enemies they give you nice rewards and um, so yeah it's kind of worth exploring around and defeating other bosses and just deviate from the main storyline and <laughs> as you can see I died <laughs> but yeah I tried various strategies because I just simply couldn't figure out how to defeat this enemy and yeah that's actually the fun part of it, just playing Elden Ring, just exploring, trying different methods. And since you're a mage, like I've said before, you have different various options you can try, like spells, like, and yeah, and just test them out. Obviously, my ring, my rock sling is the best. It always, it's the go-to, basically. If I fail, I just go back to the rock sling. Um, it will basically carry me throughout, like, majority of the game, but anyway. So yeah, this was an interesting fight and like i was actually doing well as you can see like everything was green like i stayed away from him like i'm in most of my videos i do but yeah like i was just like enjoying and staying away he was doing his thing and then i went in and this was my mistake <laughs> like you have to stay at the distance because close range like this it simply does it doesn't work <laughs> but anyway um yeah so i tried various like spells and stuff so i it's also for you guys to basically see like like how fun it is to play as a mage like you have various options it's like some people may think it's boring but i really enjoyed playing this way because you just have so many options um not like obviously each option like has its own like con pros like you know cons and pros but anyway i enjoyed myself <laughs> But yeah, like the only limitation I would say is like you need to keep track of your FP um, consumption because like some of the spells actually use a lot of FP and you must figure out whether it's use, like I was gonna say whether it's um, useful. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> I'm getting destroyed yeah, in the background, but anyway, we move, we move. So yeah, as I was saying, I was really trying here. It's just it's hard because I'm on like um, um what do you call it doors torrent and yeah it's it's difficult to do some of the spells when you're on turn um, because it would be better if you're on the ground but like you're kind of less less mobile and vulnerable to close range attacks that's why I use torrent with most of my minor tree um, boss fight or mini boss fight um, yeah you can just quickly get away when you need to be like get yourself away from trouble. Um, yeah, and then let's just use Loretta's bow, super useful, um, yeah, for long range attacks, it does nice damage, so I, it's just one of the spells I would recommend getting early, however, it does basically um, require you to defeat Loretta, and as you can see in my previous videos, that was a challenge in itself, especially when you're playing a mage, but anyway, we passed that. But yeah, I, I, I really enjoy this kind of boss battles. So yeah, I, I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. But as you can see, Rock Sling, very, very reliable. I was doing well. Like, you know, I, was, I came so close. 
so close but just a moment the same thing like i don't understand like if i'm looking at, at this gameplay and i always think okay i'm going for the kill <laughs> so frustrating but anyway <laughs> your elden ring hey man like i i yo after this game so yeah i tried this strategy where like literally this is a cool like it's a cool range move it's literally called the magic glen plate i think i'm correct uh, yeah it's a magic glen plate um very cool move um only thing is like it kind of lacks in the damage department so yeah but roxling definitely up there in damage department and it kind of has that staggering effect in the process so like yeah as you can see but i don't go in because like i like this boss fight you need to just stay away attack at the, at the range yeah and then you get the, occasionally these annoying guys coming in as well so you have to keep track you can't lose focus and then yeah what what so yeah <laughs> this is one of the weirdest that ways to die <laughs> because i got knocked on the torrent but yeah this is also another cool um um combination the loretta's um, great bow that you can use um in in combination with the swords just hovering above you they didn't they didn't do as much damage i think i believe there's a better version later in the game of um, um of that specific spell but for the time being it was cool just to have above uh, like a, um, some swords above you so yeah sometimes it's just about the looks of the like um the spells you can pull off that's kind of cool so yeah you just try and see what works what doesn't so yeah that's interesting for me yeah, but always the go-to rock sling. Sorry for the loud noise. Um, yeah, <laughs> just so excited watching this video, <laughs> and I died. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I hope you guys are still enjoying. Um, yeah, I have like a montage of how I died, literally the same way. It's like a common pattern. I'm just literally too close to the minor earth tree, and if you are gonna play Elden Ring yourself, stay away. Unless you obviously are playing a different class, I'm playing mage, so the best for mage is to stay away and just attack from a range because you're quite vulnerable. Yeah, unless you have like a mage and some other type of combination build. But yeah, I just went mostly full mage. Here and there I, I deviated from it, but yeah, depending on like obviously if you're stuck on a certain boss or whatever. So yeah, yeah, I'm really close to defeating him again as before but this time i i definitely made sure that i stayed away because i was like no way i'm falling for this <laughs> yeah so yeah you just need to be chilled yeah you see i defeated him so that was kind of cool on to the next one yeah you get like some like a uh, some cool crystal tears that's basically the rewards you get for defeating the minor earth tree now moving on to one of the worst bosses in this game i mean like literally one of the worst bosses and you wouldn't think to yourself like this is one of the worst bosses because it's just a simple bear but you will see in a minute like how devastating and how yo they just do a lot of damage so and especially if you're mates like me like i mean like i don't like i didn't depend much on like close range combat but anyway you will see like sorry for the delay in the video in the background i think i was just standing around but yeah anyway we move but yeah so this was an interesting part i was exploring in the grave and basically to get this um um i think later like after you defeated um renala the queen you can literally get this um lava lava tears or sorry, i think i can't remember the name will pop up now um but as you can see once you defeat this guy you will turn into this bear <laughs> which is kind of cool like it's some sort of messed up um funny trick of like developers to make you think okay yeah this is weird anyway but as you can see this bear is literally yo like what the like and the thing is the funny thing is these bears are in the first area of the game and they so like throughout the game you never never basically um leveled up enough for these creatures like legit like i mean they do lots of damage and they fast i mean even if you are on torrent it doesn't matter <laughs> look at me i'm trying to call torrent and i'm dying yo <laughs> 
<laughs> and then you occasionally have these like um, enemies also coming in to take their pound of flesh <laughs> um, anyway so yeah um, this was definitely something interesting like I wouldn't like I thought like me defeating all of the main bosses they were annoying in their own part but legit I would have never thought that like a bear would give me so much trouble like legit so yeah I had to rely on a strategy a strategy that like works for me rock sling like as you guys guessed okay I tried a bit of saturating crystal but I, I mean like it, it takes um it takes a while to charge up so probably not the best and yeah as you will see like my strat is literally just stay away but like this bear literally this enemy is very very fast so the, it, it doesn't matter and because torrent obviously operates on stamina you have to kind of just keep an eye there <laughs> see i tried it, it it takes a while to to basically cast so i wouldn't recommend using that so yeah Yo, I'm almost dead. And I'm dead. <laughs> anyway, move. This bear, yo, it's annoying. Like, I struggled here. And I'm thinking to myself, how can I struggle here? Like, literally, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I should be past this point of not dying to this bear. But yeah, it, 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 take, it, take, it took a while, basically. It took a while. Because I had to basically just be patient and wait it out like <laughs> yo and what's one funny element in Elden Ring is like um, these enemies can actually do damage to each other <laughs> yo 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 Hectic. yo the amount of times I died to this bear uh, alright guys we won't like bother too much in this bear. I just wanted to show you like like how actually this game literally like you think like you're on a certain level and you like yo you're full of yourself and then like enemies like these like just simple bears like it's supposed to be I mean and then they like vicious and like do lots of damage and just kills you like again I died <laughs> anyway I hope you guys are still enjoying yeah <laughs> all right so this is gonna be i think my final final battle with this bear so yeah just please bear with me like it it will take a while but i've learned from my mistakes i'm just gonna take it slow so yeah roxing obviously just testing it out there you know relying on old moves Instead of just using my sword, I could have probably just didn't want it killed him. But this time, I'm not gonna wait around for that bear to for that enemy to transform into the bear. Just get my distance, obviously, just so that I could use Roxling because it takes a while to basically cast the spell. But it does a lot of damage, and like if you time it correctly, you should have enough time to cast it before the bear gets to you and just gets the damage in. That's insane, man. Like, legit. Again, I thought I was done. I thought I was done. Like, come on, man. Alright, instead of, like, showing you every, like, like the whole battle from the beginning, because it's kind of getting, it's dragging out, I just decided to show you the last part of the battle. That's kind of like, yeah. It took me a while. <laughs> it took me a while. Yo, this game sometimes, man, it breaks down your spirit, so... Sorry if, uh, if you guys couldn't hear me, I put my hand in front of my mic. But anyway... So yeah... So we're basically moving on... We're just exploring on going, like, um... Basically getting to all these bosses. So occasionally, you can come to these type of areas and you will basically um ever go i don't know how to pronounce that but um these type of areas where you can basically enter them and then you will fight these bosses but these bosses are insane like yo this game is actually really good like you think at some stage you just 
I'm good. I'm good. Like nothing can beat me. And then you get enemies like this. Like you're like, okay, nah, I can, I can do this. I can do this. I can probably fight them with my sword because I'm a maid. Or like you know, it's not like I can't fight with. <laughs> Yo, hectic. Nah. Uh, that was... I got destroyed. I got destroyed. But you know, we'll bounce back. We'll bounce back. Luckily, the spawning area is quite, quite, like, close. That's a one-up. I'm not gonna even bother looking at the runes because, like, you will just, like, probably die a lot. <laughs> So yeah, and it's not really like a lot of runes you're gonna lose. Of course, you know it already. If you haven't guessed it, we just go back to the rock sling. And we need to kind of keep our distance. Also, one thing to note about these boss fights is you basically can't use torrent. So you have to just go and rely on the old methods of just rolling and basically just like blocking, I guess. So yeah, something interesting like they kind of like force you to fight in a certain way so yeah so you kind of like restricted in the battle but yeah but the method I'm using oh yeah an interesting some of them can heal as well so that's kind of interesting to notice so they kind of like thought the enemy process like through and like yeah what can we improve and maybe catch like some of the players out and yeah get them out of their comfort zones so yeah by the way, that move eventually, that will actually be dope to get that incantation, like, I mean, like, we'll see later in the game to where we can find that, but, like, yeah, that's actually cool. It's a short range or mid range type of move, but it's cool just to have, like, a, a fireball that explodes. Yeah, anyway, we defeated this guy. Cool. Oh, I actually have it. Flame, oh, okay, I, I probably didn't use it. I, th I don't think it's the same though. I think that specific move is different. Alright. This was also an interesting enemy for me. Because after you defeated this enemy, boom! <laughs> you guessed it. Oh yeah, so... This is basically like the same en enemy type that in the beginning of the game, this is the first boss you encounter. When you start the game, you can't defeat him unless you're like some Elden pro or anything, but I wasn't. This was my first from software game. Um, so I couldn't defeat this enemy, but this enemy literally is annoying. Like, close range, it is just a mess. So again, I'm fighting on torrent, obviously, because I, like, it's just like, I obviously can't fight that way. I didn't build my character that way, so that's why I'm fighting with the Rockslane. But at least this enemy has a seal, so it's not as easy, so it does have a, a like a bit of a, it adds a bit of a challenge. <laughs> it's just quickly trying to get close though, I mean, like, just creeping, but yeah. Oh well, that, that move wasn't really effective. The Glone Stone Pebble. You just spam that move. Like literally in the beginning of the game, you just spam it. Boom, boom, boom. Anyway, we just get our rock sling. Just finish this enemy off. Alright. Boom. One more hit. Alright, cool. Um. Laurel tier, yeah, so okay. You can use the laurel tiers to basically access, um, how can I say, uh, you can change your build. So in if, if in any case you get stuck, and then you can just use them at Renala. She becomes your ally after you kind of defeat it. That's kind of weird, but anyway. Then you can basically change yourself, and maybe if you feel like you want to play a different character build and yeah but i'm just gonna stick with the mage my first playthrough and if i ever do a second playthrough i'll just change to another yeah so anyway this is another interesting boss um these bosses are kind of like um they do still do this de decent damage <laughs> but since i'm quite like um higher up and 
like not a lower level I was doing fine and of course my summoning summoning my wolves yo they were going in look at that um, yeah so it was kind of nice but something interesting actually happened here and I think it's a common thing it just doesn't happen or people don't have that in their videos like I was literally close he was you can see his life he was close to dying and I'm also close to dying I died and my dogs are still going so I died and the enemy fell so that was kind of cool so I decided to add that like add in that into my video so yeah like this was actually a cool um, boss rush I hope I can do like these type of boss rushes in the other areas like maybe maybe not the same type of format but like um, it's just cool to just go and like feel okay now I'm ready to like defeat these like bosses in a certain area um, yeah so this boss like this was something I was supposed to do in the beginning of the game um, I was supposed to come down and fight this tutorial boss so I kind of like it doesn't tell you much but you at least get to kind of have a feel of how the like enemies and like obviously the tutorial how to move but I feel like you kind of learn those things like by yourself or I had to kind of learn with it was a, like in the videos there was a period where I like didn't know how to run or sprint so that was kind of weird so this tutorial would have helped then but yeah I figured it out eventually yeah they should actually make it mandatory to go down a certain route and learn but I guess like with this I, I'm not used to their way of like gameplay or like how they want people to learn so I think I believe it's mostly the same in the other games as well I can't really say because I haven't played but I've watched Bloodborne but like I yeah anyway so again just like the tutorial so yeah boring we kind of know all these things already why <laughs> I don't know why I decided to crowds like do all these things but anyway and these enemies are weak nice I saw I missed there there was a, a route I could have taken there but I'm sure I didn't miss out much Alright, we should be getting closer to the boss, I believe, yeah. Hey. <laughs> so there's actually a shoulder a shoulder of Godric. Okay, that's interesting. He's really weak though. It's probably because I'm I'm too high a level for him, so yeah. That was actually kind of a cool sword that I got um, while doing this boss rush. Just decided, okay, let me just test this out. So yeah, that was kind of cool. But yeah, after this, I'm just gonna continue on to some other bosses. Yeah, until I get to the good stuff. The good stuff, I had to put the good stuff at the end, you know. But anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, just getting excited. Trying a new type of um upbeat type of content but yeah so yeah and you know one of the greatest enemies or the worst enemies in this game is torrent your horse i just had to put in this like you literally you die way more from torrent um than any other of the like enemies in this game torrent is like one of your worst enemies even though he's an ally but anyway and then these wolves come on like yes oh, yo, sorry for like your it's just yo it's it's they annoying man like and they don't get like it's like you can level up but they still annoying biting you staring staggering you anyway at this point I thought okay my stamina I was like what please don't please don't bite me now and yeah I died <laughs> anyway and then of course the parkour and then you must jump okay it's still, it's still okay it's still okay and then you find okay you have to go deeper okay that's first jump is okay oh I missed the second jump oh <laughs> anyway 
Hey, yo, the amount of times I probably died. I wish there was a counter. They probably know everyone's gonna die a lot. And, okay, so once you obviously in these like caves, you had made my way to the boss, right? So I'm, I'm actually like, okay, now I made my way to the boss. So this would be actually fine if I die. And then you're like, okay, okay, this is like, um, it's cool. And then the boss kills you. And then you think to yourself, okay, but I will spawn quite close, right? You will see, I chose the state of America, which is basically the closest point. Which is not too bad, but you still have to do the whole parkour. And that is annoying for me because like it's quite a distance and there's still some pot pitfalls and stuff you can fall into. Um, yeah, it's just me. Like It's quite dark here, so I have to use the light. So yeah, so I'm like here, yo these pets are annoying, anyway, so I'm like here and then, <laughs> yo it's literally funny at this point if I'm just looking at this footage, anyway, straight onto the boss, this time I have to make sure, I know, I'm not gonna fight this guy without any um, summonings, um, I'm not about that life, so yeah, I was just like, like kind of, distracting him there with the wolves and one thing is cool is like um, if you just aim for the legs or like they kind of get staggered and fall down so that's kind of like where you can do like some damage cool As you can see, you can do like you can try and do some melee. It helps, but like it just takes a bit longer. I like to finish. This is a boss rush after all. Anyway, guys, that was the last enemy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I I will have to love and leave you. Um, anyway, lots of love. Bye.